How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good, my dear. I'm so just I setting up here. Can you hear me? Hi. Yeah, I can hear you well. So everybody, this is Romana. For everybody who doesn't know Romana, she's one of my dear friends. She's a badass coach. She lives in Dublin and Rome, right? Kind of. She lives in both places. Both kind, kind of, of, yeah. <laughs> awesome. So let's get started. Let me just make sure. Let's go. I have a good view going on. All right, team. So we're going to start with warming up the hips. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to draw a hip circle. So nice, soft knees. I'm going to bring my hips all the way to the left, all the way behind me. Now all the way to the right and then all the way forward. Make sure you're squeezing your butt here and driving in through those tight hip flexors. So imagine that you're in a barrel and you're trying to touch your hips to all sides of that barrel. Go as wide as you can. Then we're going to switch directions. So for all of y'all that missed that quick little announcement that I made, um, I'm going to lead the first half, and then halfway through, Ramana's is going to take on over. So you guys are going to get two different tastes today, and it'll be fun. All right, next up, we're going to come up into the spine. I'm going to just come down so y'all have a better view. So staying uh, standing, if you would like, we're going to extend through the spine, then we're going to flex the spine. Extension. Oh, yeah. And flexion. For anybody that this is your first workout with me, we always make sure to keep our joints nice and healthy so we can get as much out of our workout as we can. All right, next we're gonna go laterally. So I'm gonna bend down my arms. I'm gonna bend laterally and we're gonna reach our arms as far apart as we can. Think about trying to lock out those elbows, lengthen through those arms as much as you can. Stretch out those tight lats. So how are you doing today, Romana? I'm good. There's a bit of a, of a delay, I think, on the sound, but I think we're on track now. Yay. Yeah, I hear you pretty How well. How are you? I'm doing good. All right, let's get into some rotation. So we're going to start with the hands forward, and then we're going to open up as wide as we can, and we'll switch sides. Yeah, I just did a workout with one of my friends. Everything's starting to open up slowly in Texas, so people are kind of starting to socialize a little bit. Oh, God. Yeah. So hopefully things will go as planned. So are you allowed to go out and like go to the park and stuff like that? I think as long as you maintain the social distancing, you're able to for the most part right now. All right, team. Oh, that's so that, nice. Right? So it's really nice. Yeah. Let's work our way up to the neck real quick. So just so y'all can get a better view of the neck. I'm going to come forward with the neck and back. Forward. And then all the way back. Pull that chin in. Oh, this is such a good one. I feel like my neck is so tight. Yeah, especially for all of us in quarantine that are, like, on our phones all day. <laughs> yeah, and then, all the tension in the neck. Right? And the next one, we're going to come side to side, team. So we're going to look over one shoulder and the other. So I like to imagine that I'm really pulling my shoulders back, solidifying their position, and then rotating through the neck. All right, let's increase that intensity a little bit. Um, let's hit the hands first, and then we'll get moving. So we're going to go on our hands for this warm-up. We're going to hit the legs. So I'm going to interlace my fingers. And we're going to go into a wrist wave. Nice and easy wrist wave. And then we'll get the rest of the lower body in this warm-up that we're going to do. So we're going to start um, getting a little primal with this warm-up. And we'll do two rounds Ooh, of this. Nice. Keep it nice and easy. So... Let's start. I'm going to start with this demo. So to keep it simple, we're doing six of everything today. So everything is six reps. Um, for this first one, uh, I'll show you how we're counting, but it's six total on this first one. So we're going to do a lateral ape, and then we're going to come up to standing. So I'm going to come into a deep ape position. Remember, only go as deep as you can control. I'm going to travel towards my right. I'm going to squat and stand up. I'm going to squat down. And to the left. So that's your little demo. So we'll, this will be our first one. So we're in a squat, travel, squat, and stand. That's one rep. Squat, travel, stay low, and stand. That's two. Nice. So funny, usually we translate all of our videos. And I don't think there's any Italians out there who are like, what's going on? <laughs> you can translate if you want to. 
eh, ragazzi se siete con noi stiamo facendo uno squat e poi facciamo come se fossimo una scimmietta da un lato e dall'altro e poi torniamo su e teniamo bene i glutei I love it and then one yeah, more I love it in English and then I do it in Italian which is so funny that's so awesome alright so that was just six total and then the next one we're going to go into reverse lunge and twist so this will be your quick little demo so I'm going to stand into a reverse lunge you can drop the knee if you want So knee is under the hip, hip is under the shoulders. We're stacking everything, squeezing my butt. Now I'm going to twist towards my front leg. Come back to standing. Reverse lunge, twist towards the front leg. And back. Nice. So it'll be six of those total. Really try to twist and pull yourself apart as much as you can here. All right, team, let's get this warm up. Reverse lunge on the right leg, twisting towards my left. Back to center. Reverse lunge on the left, twisting towards my right. Focus on your breath. Get tall through your spine. You can drop that knee if you need to. This is four. Five. Last one. All right, starting off nice and easy. Now we're gonna hit the upper body yes. and, our, and our thoracic spine. So if you wanna do a push up on your knees, you're more than welcome to, or you can go full extended lever and get onto the feet. So we're gonna do a push up to rotation. So this is your demo, push up, twist, stacking the shoulders. Make sure you're squeezing your butt and squeezing the abs here. Get long and stay tight. You can keep both feet on the floor. You can go into a star if you wanna get more of a workout in. So, all right, you ready, Romana? Oh, nice, nice. nice. yes. All right, push up, twist, stack those shoulders, squeeze your glutes, lengthen through your spine. Two. Keep your form tight. Getting fired up. Three. Right? Yeah. This is what I needed. Four. One more each side. Five. And last one. Six. Beautiful team. So nice. that was one round. We're going to repeat that one more time. Same exact thing. So grab some water. You're getting a little bit of sweat on. But we're going to hop right on into it. Whew. Yeah, it's hot over here. I think you're primal as well. Yeah? In team. Yeah, yeah. most. Whew. And then Whew. on these, for the whole, all of these exercises going forward we're not, when we're on the floor, to make it more primal, I want you all to think about really gripping onto the floor. So make sure you're staying active through your hands, all right? So active hands. All right, I know you know all about those active hands, Romana. You little beast. <laughs> all right, let's get it. So lateral weight to standing. Six, nice and easy. Let's get it. Get low in that squat. Travel, own that position. Come back up, squeeze the glutes. And same thing. Lower, travel, squeeze those glutes. This is three, team. Romana was actually just in Austin, like literally the week yeah. before Italy went into quarantine. We jinxed her. Oh, I can't believe. We were like, talking I just so got back in time. <laughs> <laughs> just stay with me. <laughs> All right, team. I was thinking of that waterfall place. What was that right? called again? Um, with the, oh, Cosmic? Cosmic, yes. Oh, love it. Yeah, they have the cutest like little waterfall and coffee sections. All right. Oh, so nice. You guys should go visit Austin and meet Francesca, definitely. Such a train. cool place. And the best food. I'm waiting to go to Italy as soon as this is over. You <laughs> have to call. I think you love Italy. One more. Honestly, Italy's been on my list probably since I was a kid. So I have to go. Really? There's no, yeah, there's no. Well, now you have a place to stay. There's no excuse. All right. Exactly. Push up to twist. You ready, Romana? Yes, let's go. Get it. Remember, stay active in those hands. Squeeze onto your mat or onto the floor, whatever you're on. Good. 
I presume Amish is still closed. What? Is Amish still closed? Yeah. But honestly, they're thinking about opening up gyms first. Americans are crazy. I don't know. Oh, wow. That. Yeah, it makes no sense, but I'm just going to stay at my garage gym while everyone's going to the gym. Yes. Your garage gym is better than the Amish gym. <laughs> That's got everything at, you need. Right? And I don't have to worry but, about, you know, sweaty boys touching all the stuff. <laughs> all right, team. So this is going to be the meat of our workout. So it's probably going to take us maybe just about 10 minutes to get through. So on this one, um, like I said, if this takes us too long, I'm going to cut it off at a certain point so that we can let Ramana do her section of the workout. And for all of you that have been on IG, you know, the workouts do get cut off. So on this one, we're going to stick on the same theme. So we're going to go reverse lunge to kick. We're going to do six each side. So that's the difference on this. It's not six total. Technically, 12 total, six each side, whatever, however you like counting. So on this one, we're going to do each side. We're going to stay on this side on this first exercise. So I'll show you. So this is going to be your quick little demo. So I'm going to start on my right leg. We're going to go reverse lunge. I'm going to lean a little bit forward on this one just to get more booty activation. So leaning into my lunge, I'm going to kick, touch my foot. Reverse lunge, touch. Six of these. All right, team? Nice. So start with that, and let's get it. You ready, Romana? Yes. Nice and easy. Six side. Six each side. Let's go. Reverse lunge, touch, lunge, touch, lunge, touch. If you want to get more hamstring and glutes, lean into that lunge. Four, or that's five, and six. All right, other side. Let's get it. One, two, three. Lengthen through that leg. Try to straighten it out as much as you can. Flex that foot. Four, five, six. I feel like I'm giving us extra, but... It's all in the name of games. <laughs> <laughs> all right. This one, same kind of thing. 12 total, six each side. So we're going to go tabletop, squeezing your butt up top, toe tap, toe tap. So your butt is staying off the ground the whole time. Let's get it. This is rep one. Toe tap, toe tap. Rep two, squeeze the butt. Try to lengthen through your spine the whole time. Stay long. Three, toe tap, toe tap. Four, squeeze those glutes, pull in those abs. Five, woo, last one, six, woo. All right, and then last one, we're gonna do skater jumps. Same theme, yes. four total. Try to jump as far as you can. If you have a yoga mat, try to jump the length of your yoga mat. And don't slip and fall. You got this team. All right. You ready, babe? Yeah. Let's go. One. Woo. Own it. Two. Try to hold that position for a second. Three. Four. Five. Own it. Six. Halfway. One. Two. Three. Nice, Ramana. Four. Five. And last one. All right. And Ooh, I love that is such a good ride. I love it. Yeah. Feeling good? Feeling amazing. Perfect. All right, team. Let us know how you're feeling. Give us some thumbs up, some sweat emojis if you want. Go grab a sip of water, and we're going right to it in about 10, 15 seconds. So let's go. Little rest on Amazing. The oh, that's my sister. Love skater jumps. They're her favorite. <laughs> Hi, cutie. Shout out to everybody at home working out. You guys. Are what superheroes are made of. <laughs> All right, <laughs> let's go. Reverse lunge, kick. I'm starting on my left side. Let's go. Reverse lunge, kick. I'm leaning forward, trying to lengthen through that back of my leg. You're trying to flex those toes up. Get an active stretch. One more. Other side. Woo! I was joking with Eric that I want to start a Tai Bo series. <laughs> a which series? Tai Bo. Have you ever done Tai Bo classes like on, no. on DVD? It's like an early 90s type of cardio workout. It's really funny. It's like exercises oh, like, like James Fonda. Kind of. <laughs> like James Fonda meets Bruce Lee. Oh, All I right. love it. Ninja style. Yeah. It's all right. Let's get it. Squeeze the butt. Come down. Touch the toes. Yeah, it's kind of like kickboxing-ish almost, you know? Like you're oh, always like, pushing and shuffling. 
Woo. All right, team, halfway. Squeeze the butt, squeeze those abs at the top. We do hip thrusts with weights, think strong hip thrusts. Last one. Ah! All right. Oh, I feel this one, I love it. Yes. Woo! I wrote it real quick. Oh, that's a good I'm one. I'm like, how am I feeling? <laughs> All right, let's get it, Romana. 12 total. Try to follow Romana my, my tempo. Try to own it for a second. So start up on a single leg. Jump, hold. Jump, hold. Hold. Every time I do these, I hear Eric yelling at me. Hold it! <laughs> Stop wobbling! Yeah, you need to go further. <laughs> six. Come on, team, you got six more. Two. Whoops. Three. Four. Five. And six. 30 second break Woo! starting now. I'm keeping track of time, y'all. Ooh. Oh, I love it. Yeah, you've been working out every day. I've seen you. Oh, it's been amazing. And it's really like a good way of keeping yourself accountable when you have to show up for the people who want to do the workout. They're it's like, so hey, nice. Sunday morning, right? And you're like, yeah, about that. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> exactly. So people have been amazing. Like some of my friends are doing it every day with me. And it's like, they said they're feeling so fit. It's amazing. Oh, I love you. You inspire me. You inspire me, gal. Oh, All right, team. I love it. This is what it's all about. You got to have friends that inspire you. All right, team. This yeah. Is it. You ready, Romana? Even far. Even from right. far away. This is literally across the world. I love you. It's all so right, hard, Jim. I love you so far away. <laughs> all right, let's get it. This is round three. Let's go. Reverse lunge. Touch. Three, four, five, six. Switch sides. She was actually in the news in Italy when this first started. They're like, what? People are doing rooftop workouts. <laughs> yeah. We literally know all our neighbors have. <laughs> That's so amazing. All right, right to it. One, tap, tap. Two, try to stay as still as you can as you're tapping. Try not to shift from side to side. Squeeze your butt in that tabletop. Two more. I think I gave us seven, but it's all for good games. Woo! All right, team. Skater jumps. Let's go. Load that leg. Jump. Own that position. Own it. Four. All right, this is four. Five, six, one. Try to jump as far as you can, two, and land soft. Three, four, five. Oh, one more. Six. Woo! All right. We did it. That was perfect. Woo! You want to do one more or you want to cut it so you can take over? Let me see what time it is. Wait, we're 20 minutes. Um, what do you think? Do you want to do another one? Yeah, let's do another one. Probably take us 90 Go seconds. Go on, Ready? might as well. All right, grab us just uh, a jug. Grab us, grab a sip of water or a jug of water, whatever you got. <laughs> I can't talk anymore. All right, team, it's gonna be our last one. We're gonna start in five seconds. So get up, get ready. I'm gonna start on my weak side. If you wanna start with me, ready, set, let's go. Lunge, kick. Just kidding. I started on the wrong side that I wanted to, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> all right other side let's go one two three stay long through your spine posture up four five six down to the ground grab tabletop if any of you are just joining us this will be up for 24 hours so you can work out with us whenever oh yeah Woo. do it again tomorrow oh yeah sweet <laughs> up top if you're in Texas or in the South, you're probably sweating bullets like me right now. One more. Is it real? Okay. Ah, it's so humid. It's like 80 degrees. Whoa. Oh. All right, last you? one. Let's push right through it. Load that leg. Jump as far Come as you on, can, man. Soft. Woo! Come 
on, guys. Let's get it. That's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Whew. Romana is taking over. We're going to rest. Oh. Little rest, guys, before our finisher. Got sweating even more than we already are. That was good. Okay. I'm excited to see what you got. Ooh, so good. I love that. So good. Thank you, my love. Thank you. Okay. So next we've got three exercises that we're going to repeat for 30 seconds for exercise. And we're going to have a little bit of a rest in between as well. So first what we're going to do is a ni it's nice and suited to what you were talking about. A bit of kickboxing thrown in there. Yes. We're going to do a push kick. Yes. Okay, so nice high kick. Nice and powerful. Kicking that COVID away. Yes. Okay, so 30 seconds. Then we're going to move on to um, a variation on a burpee. So we're going to start from standing. Come down into a strong quad position. My knees don't touch the ground. Stay nice and straight in the spine. Coming up. Big jump at the top. Back Ooh. down to my quad. Feeling the burn. And then we're going to do a nice final squat where we're going to basically go into a low squat, jump, crisscross, back Ooh. down. Sink your That's when the dancer in you comes out. That's when the witch? The dancer comes out in you. Yeah. Make, you put on some music. And if, if, guys, the first one is too tough for you, just lower impact here. So alternating the legs. You don't have to jump into it. But we're going to go full hog. I Let's love recap. that. It's, I'm going to call it the social distance COVID kick. Pa! Exactly. Don't like, get too close. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Strong. Look at that ninja. Okay. I'm ready, babe. I so love that. Yes, Cap? What was that, babe? Are we ready to go? Oh, I'm ready. I'm dripping already. Okay. We're going to start with those push kicks forward. Killing that imaginary COVID. Let's yes. go. Bum, bum, Three. Bum, 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 bum. Yes. <laughs> you can add in some punches if you want as well. Like Francesca was doing push. Come on. Oh, look at those punches I want. Come on. Oh. I can't We're it. halfway. I keep pushing. One side's way more you coordinated. through. Three, two, last one, push it hard. Yes. Okay, love it. well done. I loved that. Oh, Cheska has a way of moving that is just so enchanting, but like oh, strong God. at the same time, if that's possible. Oh, I love I it. You. I love it. Second one, let's go. Three, two, one, we're going down. Quad position, we don't touch the knees, come up. Big jump. Yes, down. Up, let's go. Come on. Down. Up, hold the abs. Big jump at the top. Come on. Down. Up, let's go. Ooh, this feels great. Is it good? Yeah, yeah. guys. Big jump. Three, two, last one. Give me one more. Oh, man. And jump. Woo! So got me. Feeling good? We've oh, only yeah. got one more. Okay, we're gonna do our squat and crisscross. Woo! Let's wait a few seconds. Get that breath back. I wanted to take off my top, but I realized I don't have any more layers. <laughs> These are the moments you wish you were a lad, a man. All right. Oh, okay. Man. Three, two. One, open up, crisscross. Open up. How low can you go? And two. Come on. Crisscross. I, I saw some sweat hit the floor right now. This is all you want. <laughs> Come on, Francesca. Let's go. Woo. New to there. Woo. Oh man! Last one. And she keeps Woo! Going. Oh my God! You look like an Irish dancer there. Have you, have you ever 
just in Irish dancing. Yeah. <laughs> so nice. Oh, My whole family. Oh, beautiful programming. Grab know. a drink of water. <laughs> Finish up your sweat, Francesca, from <laughs> earlier. You're working hard today. Oh, yeah. I love your bottle with all the stickers. <laughs> it's like super Austin-y. Like very tech Gorgeous. There's my friend go. Romana Yudo. Ma capisci? So fi capito di amati? Dai, raga. Representing Cosmic right here, our favorite spot. <laughs> oh, so cute. Go on, Chishi. Okay, so let's go for it again, guys. We're going to throw push kick to start it off. Three, two, one. Embrace your Anthony Joshua. Come on. Go on. I need to punch it like Francesca. And kick it up. I'm loving this workout. Come on. Teamwork. invisible. <laughs> oh! Woo! Near me there, come on. Give me one well, more. I'll it to, to YouTube. Oh, man. No. Oh, do you know how to do that? You're such a tech whiz with your editing oh. skills. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, guys, come on. We're going to do this final exercise. How are you feeling? Hi. And then we're going to finish good. off. Feeling good, Francesca? Yeah. I got sweat in my eyes. <laughs> That's the sign of true work. Right there. Okay, guys. We're going to go into our crisscross. Michael Flatley. Three, two, Boom. one. Let's go. Crisscross. Nice and strong in the center. Those really got my adductors firing. Say again. Those got my inner thighs fired. <sighs> Can't hear that for some reason. Hang on a sec. Oh, that my inner thighs feel like they're gonna die on these. You heard that? <laughs> oh, that's what we want. Let's go. Three, two, last one. Give me one more. Sinking down. Big jump. Yes. Oh, yes. We're gonna get a nice rest now. The rest we deserve. Ooh. Oh, man. Ooh, how's everyone feeling? Give us a heart to know that your heart is still beating. You haven't died on us. <laughs> Yay. I think my heart's like on the floor in my garage. <sighs> oh, I love it. I wish I had those. That amazing setup. It's so good. Honestly, we took it for granted forever. And we realized, you know, it's kind of a blessing finally. But our neighbors are so loud. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's really bad. This girl starts coughing at like 4 o'clock in the morning and wakes us up. <laughs> oh, jeez. That is not fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Come on, Ben. That's my cousin. He's teasing me so good. Hope you guys are getting a good sweat on. Because I know we're dripping over here. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your okay, cheeks are nice and red. I know. Gosh. We're going to go in for one last round, lads. Okay. Do you know the way we say lads in Ireland? Is that weird to you? Lads. I like it. It's definitely very, like, Irish. <laughs> You'll have to do your Irish accent for us at the end of this. Ooh. <laughs> I have your Irish accent. Let's go push kicks. 
Nice and powerful. Last round. Ready, ready? Three, two, and one straight in. Come on. so like calm in the background there and I look like so aggressive that I'm trying to kick the camera in the face. No, I'm dying. <laughs> okay, okay exercises. Come on, let's kill it. Yes, guys, go. Go, Romano. Three, two, one. Down on the floor. Quad position. Nice and strong. Help yourself with my hands. Put my up. Come on. Down up. Big jump. Come on, guys, we're on the whole stretch. We're nearly there. Let's finish strong. Ah. Nearly there. Come on. We can do it together. Woo. Nearly there. Five. Four. Oh, man. Two. Does it uh, that? Excellent work. Whew. Definitely feeling that one. Whew. 100%. Come on, guys. We've one more left. That's all. One more. We can do this. Come on. Tell us we can do this. Let's go. We can do this. Woo. Austin in the house. This is good. Okay. Okay, guys. Quick breath. How's everyone feeling? Oh, there's some flames down there. Fiery, oh, for sure. Okay, guys. Let's go for our squat. The quicker we do it, the quicker we'll finish. Three, two, one. Straight in. Dive. Crisscross. Open. Crisscross. And sink down. Keep that chest proud. As if you want to show us your nice necklace. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> I always thought that cue was so good. Down. Oh. Down. Crisscross. Come on, guys. We're nearly there. Nearly there. Give us a few more seconds. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Definitely feeling that. Do you know what we'll do? We'll go back down the floor now to give us a bit of a relaxing time. Grab your mat. How are you feeling, Francesca? Freaking juicy. That was a hard one. That was really hard. Oh, watermelon juicy. <laughs> okay. It burns. Come on, Paula. Okay, guys. We're going to lower our mat. Cool down. Whew. Let that air in and out. Chill out your body and your mind. Whew. Whew. We're going to position our hands on our belly here and feel the belly rising and falling, filling it up nice and deep. We don't have breathe up here because chances are your heart rate is pumping. Just want to bring the breath right back down to your belly. Ooh, it's perfect. Oh, isn't it? Slow it right down. Ragazzi, bravissimi coloro che hanno seguito fino adesso l'inglese o italiano che siete venuti fino a qui a seguirci. Whew. Nice. Slow down upward. And stay with us. We're going to have a few questions with, with Francesca. If you want to know more about Francesca, if you're coming from my channel, I'm going to ask you some questions. Woo! And we're going to go up with the right leg. We're going to fold it over the left. And we're going to interlace the fingertips at the back of the left thigh, bringing it towards our belly. Feel that opening in the hips, the glutes. Whew. 
I always feel we, we earn a rest at the end of our workout. Thousand percent. That's the best part. <laughs> Isn't it? And then we'll straighten out that left leg and we're going to interlace a little bit higher now up into our calf. Woo. And if you guys are coming from my channel and you don't know Francesca, she's amazing. You have to check out her programs. I've had one of her programs and it's amazing working hard on it. Still not where I want to be, but it's hard to get oh, to that level. <laughs> and if anybody, I know a lot of you on my channel have been wanting consistent workouts. Romana's on there every single day. Pretty sure she's on there twice a day sometimes. So check out Romana for some great content, especially live content. Fantastic on there. And they're Ooh. all pretty accessible. It's so funny. It's the quarantine that's brought on all these live workouts because I like, never do one usually, you know? Yeah, I've never done one before, that's for sure. It's so funny. And all these great people sharing all their info. I love it. Yeah, it's super great. And then we'll go over from the back. Again? Oh, sorry, you said to say that again? Oh, I missed what you said, I think. Oh, but yeah, some badass coaches are giving away, you know, their great knowledge on there for free. It's fantastic. Yeah, it's kind of amazing. And then we're going to do the same on the other side. Open that left hip, that glute. And then we're going to reach up to the calf as well. Give your calf a little massage. You can turn your ankle one way and the other for a nice space. Get into those little tensey bits. Ooh, super tense on this side. Oh, we deserve this. Yes. Okay, we're going to bring job, both. everybody. And we're just going to do some circles with the knees. And change direction. Super, and slowly we're gonna just come to the side and roll up. Whoa, I can really feel the sweat now that I've stopped. <laughs> Even more. <laughs> Open up those legs, we're gonna go up. Feel those hip flexors engage. All the abs, you're gonna go toward the right foot, keeping that shoulder blade down and back. Ooh. As the window open, and I can see all these lovely little birds, can you hear them singing? No, I can't. I wish. Oh, God. I will go over to the other side. But nature has been flourishing. Like we, we believe that like like birds have multiplied since the beginning of quarantine. Because I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah, no pollution. They're living the dream. Yeah, man. So crazy. Yeah. Who would have thought we'd be yeah. like another two months into this? <laughs> I know, it's been so long. Like, it's so strange. And we're just going to shake out here, opening in and out. Well done, everybody. You were amazing. You killed it. Thank you, Francesca, for doing this with me. Thank such you, an honor. Whew. You're such a badass. Oh, got, so are you. I love it. Same. Drip, drip, dripping. Uh, Absolutely dripping. Oh, I love it. Fruits of hard work. I love it. <laughs> Good job, everybody I at home. And huge shout out to everybody that stayed through the decompression. Yeah, I know loads of people always go on the decompression. I always say, guys, stick it, stick with it, stick with it. It's always worth it to prevent those injuries. Slow yeah. that heart rate down. So well done to you guys for staying. Got my little questions here if you want to hear Ooh, them. Let's do it. Tired. Mm. Ciao, Isabella. Ciao, Shishi. Stay with us. Oh, these are my friends. Say hello. So cute of them to come What's over. Okay. So, hop on over. Um, so the first, okay, this is an interesting one because we touched on it just a few seconds ago. Um, what's something positive that has come out of this quarantine for you? Ooh. Something positive. It can be anything. Um, anything. Ooh, I've been cooking a lot at home. That is a big thing for me because it's been on my list for so long to be more consistent and, you know, just to cook for myself more. And it's, it got real. I was, I, I think I made it like 
almost like 21 days without eating out. <laughs> That's amazing because Austin as well is such a city, isn't it? Such a city that people get takeout and like people like that's where they hang out, brunch and like amazing yeah. food places. So nobody bothers to cook at home. Brunch is like my favorite thing of the week, and we usually do it like multiple times a week here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but you'll be back to that soon enough. And you're cooking your own now, so you, like it's actually really interesting the way people are developing all these new skills. I think. Yeah, everyone's you know to when they have. Sourdough and the banana bread. Everyone's obsessed with the sourdough and the banana bread. I love it. Oh, this is an interesting one as well. So what, okay, I'm interested in this. What would you define yourself? Like you don't have to go by any label or anything like that. But like if someone said like, what do you do? Like what would you define yourself as? Because you do so many different things. Um, yeah, when people ask what I do, I'm, I just say like I'm like a movement enthusiast, like fitness coach. And I like to keep it general just because, like, I feel like, um, like, there's so many coaches that have, like, subspecialties, you know? So, like, I wouldn't say I'm, like, just an animal for the coach. I wouldn't say that I'm, like, only a mobility specialist because, I mean, you've trained with me in real life. Like, I love to lift weights still. You know, I love to kind of do everything. So, movement enthusiast, fitness coach-ish, you know, kind of like a little hybrid of something. I love that, fitness enthusiast. That's such a good definition. And, oh, another one. Uh, okay, what is one thing? So say you did one workshop or like you met one person or maybe three lessons or something, but what would be the main thing that you'd like for them, for your clients or for your the people you're working with to come away with? Like if it was one thing like from you. You know, you have the best questions, right? Even in real life, like you're just chock full of great questions. <laughs> so I would say um, body awareness. I think if I can help somebody, like even if it was just one session or a workshop, achieve anything, for sure would want to focus on body awareness. Just because I feel like it's one of those things, like as soon as you start like getting at the tip of the iceberg and like finding that there's like a whole world of this, um, just that lens of body awareness and having that mindfulness can take you so far in fitness and reaching your goals and healing your body through movement. Like whatever your goal is, I think body awareness is something that everybody can um, improve on for sure. That's so good. Because I remember myself and my sister, I think we did a, a live workout with you and Eric one of the days. And my sister was saying about you, she was like, she's so present when she moves. Like you just oh, have a way, because there's so many people out there who are movers and like personal trainers and coaches. And, and you just have a way of like, when it, it feels to me like whenever you're doing this, it's like you're meditating. It's like you're really aware of what muscles you're engaging, where your mind, your mind is wandering into other stuff. You're literally with what you're doing, which is yeah. incredible. Like I try to be with my breath and with my, with my muscles, you know, just like keep it right there. Also have it the really shows, that so well done. Thanks. Yes. It's, it's honestly, like the cheesy things that people say, like they wouldn't take their injuries for granted. That was all like learned through injuries you know I'm like what am I missing and I'm like I'm moving like really bad <laughs> I'm kind of sloppy <laughs> yeah because as well people want to people want to like show off a lot of the time and sometimes when you show off you can really risk hurting yourself and being completely um not present in what you're doing because you're rushing through something and and that's when injuries happen and that's when actually you don't even feel that good about yourself you might have won a race or something but actually you feel crap after it because you haven't you haven't properly engaged the right muscles yeah. or your mind, which I think is such a big part of working out. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Oh, yes. What adjectives would you associate with yourself? Ooh. All right. I like this one. I would go with, like, wild, free, fun, fierce. Yeah. Wild, free, Ooh, fun. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> I would definitely agree with all and of that. I love it. Today, so I washed my hair yesterday, so I usually take my hair out of the braids, but look how crazy it like, wants to come out already. It's like, let me out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I always think it looks so neat. I don't know how you do it. Oh, thanks. I think the complete opposite. I'm like, okay, these hairs need to go down. But it's all about the lighting. It's all in the lighting. It's all in the light, exactly. If you get that right angle, you know them all <laughs> now because you're so used to editing and doing all that. Oh, um... Last one. What's the, your favorite thing about what you do? Honestly, my favorite thing about what I do is helping people like find empowerment in their bodies and get out of pain. Um, and actually, like my favorite 
stories. It's like usually somebody like I never even met and they'll send me like this amazing story. I actually got one the other day um, from this lady who's a firefighter. And especially in this time, like my stepdad's a firefighter and that was a career I had contemplated going through. And the reason I didn't go through it is because there's so much on the line, you know, like if anybody here knows me personally, you know, I have a bad back. So that was like literally the whole reason. But like I couldn't be a firefighter because there's one, there's so much I'm risking and it's a hard job. Um, but this firefighter told me that she was dealing with back pain for a really long time. And um, she was, she's been doing mind and aerobics training and mobility and she feels like amazing. And she's being like able to like be of service, especially during this time. Like, you know, there couldn't be a better time to feel like you're giving back to the community, you know, and helping people um, who are in pain wow. and who need it. So that's my favorite thing. Um, especially oh, like I said, you know, like, so rewarding. Mm -hmm. especially for someone who like di literally like didn't go down specific career paths because of injury, you know? So it's, to me, that's the best feeling. Wow, that's extraordinary. Right. And they're following. But guys, I can't, I, that does not surprise me because I did like, um, Francesca has a free, which I think is amazing. You have a free, complete, like weekly program, body weight, which I've done and is amazing. And she really puts so much attention on mobility, which is so crucial and which is something that so many people pass on and just think, oh, I have 30 minutes. I'm just going to work out, pump some weights. And they don't care about warming up or cooling down. But you put such an emphasis on that. And the amount of sweat, sorry, that you can develop doing mobility as well. It's so tough on your body. Like, it's really, really hardcore. Uh, and the moves that you do are so original. So that does not surprise me. But people have, like, actually recovered from injury through doing mobility. Because people underestimate the power of, like, healing yourself through your own self, your own body and Absolutely. mind. Absolutely. And I love how you ended it with saying your mind. Because that's where it all starts. You know, if you, if you have a self-limiting belief, in any aspect of your life, it's still a self-limiting belief, you know, like your mind, you have to be open to different ideas um, in order to heal, especially. So I love it. Thank you so much for doing this with us. I mean, thank it's you. It's been so much fun. Can I ask you some questions? Of course, absolutely. Right. What has been the most rewarding part for you um, by holding all these lives for us for uh, quarantine? Yeah, it's been really interesting because a part of it, I was like, there were a couple of days where I was like, what am I doing? Like, people are dying. How dare I go up on the roof and, like, have a smile and a laugh? And then I was like, no, this is what people need right now. People need some a light comic relief of, like, someone being silly or someone not taking themselves too seriously and somebody coaching them through something and encouraging them through. Because I know for myself, like, even this is the first time I've done a live uh, workout with someone. And to have even that feedback, like that we're like bouncing off each other is so special. And in some way with these lives, you do get that because I would have like, most of my friends would be on it so I could communicate with them. It feels like some of them are texting me saying, I feel like I'm hanging out with you every morning. You're the reason I get out of bed in the morning at nine o'clock to do your yoga uh, or your mobility uh, flows and things like that. It means so much to, to us as life. I even though it's really far away so that's been really rewarding and for me as well as I was saying earlier the thing of holding yourself accountable which is great and my mom and pal my sister Palma and my mom every single day which is amazing oh oh wait am I blocked out can you see me uh it's kind of gray now I can't see you oh no all right hold on oh there <laughs> Sorry. Oh, she met. She Yeah, I, <laughs> but yeah, I thought it's it was, been amazing. I thought it was specifically so inspiring how you had two different, or like how you made sure that you were um, offering for both of your communities. You know, so you're saying like, "Hey, everybody in Dublin, it'll be at this time." You're like, "Hey, everybody at Rome, it's this time in Rome." <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly, and as well, you know, at the start, Italy was in such a bad place, and then it kind of expanded to the whole world so at the start it was really kind of Italian based because people were still working in Ireland and then Irish people started to join more and more because it was in lockdown in Ireland so it's lovely to have my Irish friends as well they're amazing so shout out That's to all great. those people who have been following every day tutti quanti che seguite ogni giorno and for everybody on here I see some of you are asking some questions um if you let's see you want to take a second to look through Ramon and answer some questions together oh yes all right, Romana. So here's this question from Diana. She says, what is the best way to start if the main goal is changing my body composition from fat to muscle mass? What would be the main, what exercises would be the main thing? Mm, what I would say there is 
exercises aren't the main thing. I would say the main thing is nutrition. So I would get yourself uh, an amazing dietitian or health coach or nutritionist, and I would get started there because working out is an amazing help to getting that body composition, lifting weights, doing all of that. But your nutrition has to be in check, I think. That's something I learned the hard way because I was like, oh, I can work out loads and get really like fit and stuff. And you get <laughs> fit, but you don't necessarily lose weight. Jumping off of Romana, 100%. Um, one easy thing for those of us that are beginners in fitness is like kind of keeping in mind like some easy ratios. So for a lot of people, they say um, for achieving your goal, whatever your goal is, it's 80% diet and 20% fitness. So remember, 20%, it's a little chunk, but it, it's for sure important. It's not to say that it's not important. So to add on to Romana, make sure you're lifting some weights as well. Make sure that you um, – maybe find a fitness coach. You can do it online or in person. There's all types of options nowadays. Um, well, in person, you have to wait. Just kidding. But it's for sure something great to invest in. Um, but yeah, focus on your diet and focus um, on your uh, building, building more muscle mass. So making sure that you're doing some resistance training. Sorry, I'm trying to like read and talk at the same time and it's not working. <laughs> yeah, it's so confusing when all sometimes when the comments come in. But actually, you, you know what you should do? Whoever, whatever, what was her name? That like girl? Uh, Diana. Diana, you should buy Francesca's programs. That's what you should do because she's kettlebell and she's got body weight. And you can do a lot with body weight when you're at home because a lot of, look at those muscles. Because uh, <laughs> obviously not everyone has access to weights at the moment, which is tough for us all. I miss them. <laughs> and if you're a beginner, body weight will actually help you build mass as well. So you don't necessarily need to focus only on um, weight training uh, either. So Romana was a pro over here. She's like filling in my uh, gaps where I'm missing. <laughs> And somebody else, I didn't see it, but somebody had a question saying that they had some discomfort in their thoracic spine. Um, and just like I said, if y'all want answers to these questions, you can send me a DM or Romana a DM. Romana's also very knowledgeable. Um, but Justin, if you really want your questions answered, we always go uh, make sure we can go connect to everybody through DM. So what would you say to the gentleman whose thoracic spine is bugging him, Romana? I would say for now, so I, whenever I got an injury, I would... So again, like go to your experts. So I would definitely go to a physio. I know this is a difficult time. We can't necessarily do that. I know Francesca is an amazing chiropractor. So look into that maybe. Uh, um, osteopathy is great for me. Um, massages are great. But I think that's more secondary. So maybe an expert like a physio or a physical therapist to really analyze because we're obviously not able to see you and, and, and look at your muscles and we, we're not even you know entitled to do that in general but what i would say after that if they do give you the okay to keep working out then that what i would do is go and do some mobility and start gentle don't throw yourself into um strong weights because i think a lot of men tend to do that sometimes like even if they're injured they push through the injury because they don't want to admit the vulnerability of being hurt or sore so just make sure you take it easy and you listen to your body and you come back into exercising nice and slow with your spine because spine is such an important thing and i know you know all about spine because you had injuries there as well well did you have scoliosis was it yeah i have scoliosis and i personally i had a uh a back fracture. So I think I fractured like L5 or L4. I don't even remember. But um, yeah, I fractured my low back when I was a kid. And then I never got therapy for it. And then they're like, Oh, and you have scoliosis, but it's no big deal. But of course, like flash forward, like 10, 15 years, I'm like, Oh, my God, my back hurts all the time. <laughs> but thankfully, wow. um, for me personally, the biggest thing that has helped me is um, honestly, there is no one thing, you know, that's the thing about healing. It's everything, you know, so the thing for me, it's making sure that I'm still strengthening my body. But for me, I had to take, I had to focus on mobility first. I think for a lot of us that are struggling with inner injuries, it's thinking everything as like kind of like a pyramid. On the bottom, we have mobility, then comes stability, then comes strength. You know, you don't want to work on strength if you're lacking in mobility. And you don't want to work on strength stuff if you are don't have stability either. Because especially, um, going back to the gentleman whose thoracic spine was bothering you, what, what, one reason that might be bothering you as well is because you might not have enough stability in your midsection or in your hips or wherever, you know, it can be coming from different parts of your body. Um, so that's one thing, just thinking of the body is kind of being intricate, you know, like we're not, um, you know, we're not one dimensional at all, you know? So, and a lot of times too, last thing I'm going to say about pain and injuries, believe it or not, I know it sounds super woo woo and like the, practical part of me is always like kind of like shaming myself when I say this or like kind of like mocking myself but it's 
injuries have so much emotion embedded in them. It's crazy. Like we hold so much tension in our bodies that's emotional. And like, sure, let's say I fell on my shoulder and I hurt my shoulder and that's a physical injury. It doesn't mean that I don't have tension in it after um, emotional tension in it. It sounds super woo-woo and I know every time I say it, I'm like, really? But um, it's something great to think about. Um, Cause your oh, body- Oh, I think it's so holds- true. Yeah, there's actually a book. I haven't read it yet, um, but it's called The Body Keeps Score. But the whole methodology, the whole philosophy behind that is that your body's covered in fascia, which is like a whole blanket of nerves. So that's literally your brain's connected to your body, you know? So I can go on it forever, but yeah, just check it out. (laughs) So interesting. I think that's fascinating. Uh, Definitely, there's something there to look into. But as you say, everything is so layered and everyone is so different that there's no quick fix for anyone. But I certainly think uh, yoga, Pilates, uh, mobility, uh, and then strength training, like you layering it on, I think they're fundamental to get yourself back. Because people say, oh, I can't train because I'm injured. You actually, when I was injured, I could still train. It's just your body saying, oh, I can't train because that one part of me is injured. You can still train, but you don't have to train that part. You don't have to put pressure on that part. So I think it's important to know the difference. Absolutely. And bouncing off you, um, I think one of the most powerful things in training, as you become more sophisticated in your training journey and, you know, encounter injuries, is learning that regressions are, you know, incredible, especially when you do them right and learn them the right way and learn how to progress them. I remember I used to think, like, uh, like, I remember I learned what scat push-ups were at one point, And I was like, why would anybody do that? That's not like a real workout. <laughs> it's not about it being a workout. It's about rehabilitating your body and building a better connection and strengthening those weak links. And, you know, it's just all changes. Like we were talking about earlier. Once you change your mindset, you realize, oh, wow, you know, there's a whole world out there. Um, and our body is kind of in the same way, you know, very multidimensional. Um, and that's why I love so you. Weird. I love... I love when I pop on and I see you. Um, sometimes I'll just see you on live and I'll be like, all right, let me see what she's doing real quick. And you guys are doing like a very chill mobility session, focusing on flexibility and strength. And I'm like, oh, this is like movement porn to me. <laughs> wow, it is because it is that thing. It's like, it's so holistic. And I think, I think it's really important to understand that it, it, your mind, your body and your soul are also interconnected and so many little problems on one end can trickle into the other end. So I think you're so right when you say that injuries, I remember doing yoga um, and I remember this yoga teacher telling me that there's a lot of emotion stored in your hips. And like, I, like I always had really tight hips, which is really interesting because like if you're having like an emotional day, it can, it can actually happen that your hips feel tighter. I've definitely had that. I know again, it sounds like a bit of bonkers thing to say, but I actually think it's true. Oh, and then for anybody that's, um, cause like uh, Ramon and I are saying a lot of times we're like, okay, we've doubted this ourselves. And it's like with time and experience, you realize there's so much truth in that. But my favorite thing, um, somebody did a Ted talk about this. How do you look when you're scared, Ramana? Yeah. <laughs> so you, you're, you're, you're literally trying to protect your midsection. I didn't know this until recently. We're probably going to get cut off soon, but your body anatomically, you're trying to stabilize strengthen your abs protect your core so that you can fight with your arms it's kind of crazy and it's also like a protection mechanism but this is what happens when you're scared or stressed what happened how do you look when you're confident ramana wow like you said (laughs) that necklace you know when you feel confident your body you know exposed or like resembles that as well um so for anybody that's so true yeah So just kind of wanted to show that demo for anybody um, who's kind of new to that concept, um, because I totally think that's something that can help a lot of us in our own life and journey. You know, if you're feeling stressed, you're like, hold on, let me relax my body, get some more length in my spine, open up my chest. So true. um, Yeah. So what are you going to do tonight, Ramana? Are you going to chill out? I'm going to have some dinner. I'm going to have a shower. Maybe watch, actually, I'm still catching up. I'm so bad at watching stuff. Um, I'm watching Handmaid's Tale. Like, I still haven't finished it. Did you ever watch that? It's so intense. I don't think I finished it. I think I left off in season two. But I need to, I yeah, know, I, I was, have something to go back. That's where I, that's exactly where I left off, season two. So I'm watching it with my friend, like, on FaceTime, which is so funny. It's, it's so, so lovely. Cute. So do you guys yeah, so start it at react- the same time? Yeah, we go, go three, one, two, one, go. Three. I need to do that. <laughs> it's so much fun. Because I was watching and the how, show what you, what are you gonna do? Um, So I'm honestly, I'm going to shower, make some lunch or brunch, I guess. I haven't really eaten a breakfast yet. 
but I'm going to shower, make some food, and then do some computer work. So I think today, for sure, I'm going to do some programming. It'll be fun. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nice. Guys, just if you are coming from my page, eh, se ragazzi, se venite dalla mia pagina, follow Francesca, seguitela. She has amazing programs, bodyweight, kettlebells. It's so worth investing in them. Veramente vale la pena investire perché è bravissima. So, yeah, do follow her. And thank you again, Francesca, for doing this with thank me. It was you. so much fun. Thank you. And everybody go check out my babe, Romana. She's super sweet. She's literally like a ray of sunshine. And her brand is literally called Watermelon Fitness because she's so freaking cute. <laughs> Um, and like I said before, she's hosting lives every freaking day. I'm not wrong, right? Every day? Every day, yes. Every day. Okay, I wasn't hallucinating. Every freaking day, people. She's the best. Thank you, guys. And Join if you have up. questions, DM us. Send us DMs. Ask us questions. This will be up for 24 hours. I love you, Romana. Yeah, I love you, too. Thank you. Bye. Bye, babe. Have a great night.